Hey, you guys, welcome back to the program. As I mentioned at the outset, we're going to talk with a fellow this evening who's still very important to our community here in Park City. He puts on a ton of shows, but mostly he just has the kind of spirit that I feel like we really identify with being a Parkite. It's such a beautiful place to live, and we're all so fortunate to be here. That being said, you got to keep putting the energy into the community. And one guy who does that just about 24-7 all summer long, keeping the shows going, keeping us all with smiles on our faces, courtesy of free music from Mountain Town Music, this is Brian Richards. Hi, buddy. What's up, dude? How are you, man? Good, man. Always my pleasure. Great to see you. Thanks for having There's me. There's Victor. Just Hi, to buddy. Welcome to, to the show. Wants to get into love. I don't, think, love. Come over and lay I down, don't buddy. think Victor's been on the show before. I think this is the first time. Uh, he was time. here last time I was here. Was he really? Yeah. yeah. Maybe I just don't remember. Oh, I'm getting in so much trouble from a certain uh -oh. little dog who's going to be jealous, wash, smell like a big dog. This is no my sidekick, you know? Yeah, sure. You know, Batman's got you go. Robin. I got Victor. That's right. This is my be main. Be rich and Vic. This is my main homeboy right be here. Be rich he's, and Vic. I love it. He's gotten me through this summer for sure. That's great, man. Hey, come here and lay down, buddy. Come here. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Good Stay. boy. Stay. Perfect. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. You're um, uh, kind of end of the season here. Yeah, re recharging the batteries a little bit. Congratulations enjoying, uh, on enjoying an, the beautiful another leaves. amazing season. So much great music. How do you? I, and I, I, it sounds like kind of a corny faux question, but how do you do it, man? It's it's a crazy schedule that you guys keep putting on tons of shows. It's a crazy schedule, but I have an amazing team and an amazing family. You know, we, we talk a lot about the Mountain Town Music family, and, and we are a true family. We got each other's back. Yeah. You know, and if like I can't go out to Camus, like Daniel's going to be out there on stage, kind of pimping Mountain Town Music out. Sure, and, sure. You know, if if uh, Kelly can't make it to a show, I might go run sound. You know, so yeah, it, great, it's man. really a team and a family, and it, it's kind of what makes this thing run. And you know, even I have board members, you know, that that sort of step in as well, and and they're part of what we call, you know, this Mountain Time Music family. So it takes a, it takes a nation, man. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. How many shows this summer? Uh, we did just over 200 musical performances in about 90 days. It's amazing. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. Crazy. So for folks who may not know and may not be f familiar f with Mountain Town. Um, talk about all the places that, that you put on shows, because I know you're out in Camas and Francis. Yeah, we have, we have tons of, of, of uh, community partners. We're at Deer Valley on Wednesdays, Canyons on Thursdays, DeJoria Center in Camas on Thursdays, Wouldn't You Park in Piola on Fridays, Miners Park on Main Street on Saturdays, back to the Canyons on Saturdays. We're at Silly Market on Sundays, um, Quarry Village on Sunday nights. And we do a bunch of stuff in City Park. We start with the um, Noches de Verano Latino music series. And then that sort of segues into um, the Beethoven uh, Festival in City Park. Um, so yeah, it's, it's you know, six days a week during the summer and it's it's awesome I mean the cool thing is we have such a, a strong musical community you know in sure. order to put on that many shows you got to have that many musicians yes and uh, you know we touched upon it a little bit last night um, we have a wealth of talent here in the, the Salt Lake Park City region and uh, we're really lucky you know it's in uh, you know you think you brought up Jeremy Wright sides who is a world-class guitar player who could probably Absolutely. play guitar in many of bands that are r really popular right now. Absolutely. But he we're lucky to have them here in Salt Lake City, you know? And so I sort of get off on, on, on showcasing as many possible musicians as I want, as I can, right? And uh, I want to do that. And we talked last night, and you're going to be gracing one of the stages next summer. I'm in for next summer, for yeah. sure. And uh, which is really exciting because I've seen your videos, but I've you know, I've never, I've know. never well, had band's still coming. We got a little bit more work to do before we're going to uh, do the first shows. But I think by by the time the weather gets good, we have an, have ourselves a nice ski season and a good ski season. You are uh, going to drop the shred. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's the face I'm going to make, and it's not going to be cool. I love it. It's going to be <laughs> so cool. Well, and it is It is a, a, a topic that I think is near and dear to both of our hearts, but as we were discussing last night, the passion for music and, and what what music represents, to, to me, music always represents excitement, even if you're talking about seeing a, a, a chamber group do Beethoven yeah. in the park. but. That's exciting too. It is exciting because it's, you know, it, it's amazing 
to, to get to go to your local park and, and just throw out a, a, a blanket and sit and, and listen to some classical music. And there's a, like, there's a vibrancy artists. and an energy in what we do. And, it, you know, it's accessible to all. So there's families, there's friends, there's kids. Um, you know, it, it really, we've created this sort of community, right? Yeah. That piggybacks on an already amazing community. And so, you know, a lot of times we talk, it's like a social experience with music as the background, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And it gives people an opportunity to get together, to hang out, to drink some beers or some wine in a blanket, eat some really great food. But then there's great music. And um, we're lucky that, you know, we have this beautiful, beautiful landscape and, and mountainscape, so to speak, to, yeah. to put this music, you know, from a rodeo grounds in Pioa where there's horses galloping and Absolutely cows grazing it. and kids on swing sets. It's our so like pal you say, Jordan Young this summer out amazing, there. Amazing, right? On Friday night. And, and you guys threw, you guys threw a big party. I showed yeah, up and man. you had burgers and beers and you're just... It's so great. It's such a fun scene. It is. Scene. It's cool. And then and you go to City Park, like you say, and there's classical music and there's skateboarders cruising by. You know, yeah. the dichotomy of that is really amazing yeah. and fun. And, you know, we try to, to, to keep it loose. We try to keep it fun, vibrant. We try to keep the energy there. And um, it's it's really cool. We're you know we're lucky that we live in this community that supports live music, that gets out Truly. there, that comes to the shows, that appreciates it, you know. And, and um, it's awesome for the musicians because they get to play in front of, you know, thousands Thousands of people every summer. Yeah, and 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 the I mean the Deer Valley concerts are they're big. That's they're a big. Big show. They're big. Um, I I didn't make it to quite as many this year. I usually try to make it to every single show on Wednesday nights, but I still. Uh, had some amazing experiences. I mean, Sammy Brew and the Grinders this Crushed year at, at Deer Valley was and that's absolutely a, you know, we, amazing. We talk a lot about creating um, a sustainable musical community, meaning, you know, if we go in and we present uh, music as a cultural art form in elementary schools, and, right. and we reach that one or two kids that wants to play music or gets inspired, right, mm -hmm. and um, then they become a, a musician and they might you know, play on one of our stages. And Sammy's a really cool um, example of that. I saw him on Main Street one day while I was walking up to set up Miner's Park. Same. He's busking. I think he's 12 years old, 11 right. years old Tiny. at the time. And I'm like, dude, why don't you get up on the stage, man? You know, we got an hour before the next performer, you know, shows up. And he got up on the stage as this 11-year-old kid just busking on Main Unbelievable. Street. Unbelievable. And last summer, he played in front of, what, 3,000 people at Deer Valley? Yeah. And so that's, you know, that's what we strive to do. Is, is in, basically in about five or six years. Five or six years. It's awesome. I mean, he's, yeah. I don't think kid. Sam's 18 yet, and he's making his second record. And yeah, it's, it's a really cool thing to, I think a lot in terms of, of local music versus, not in any adversarial way, but local music versus touring bands. And, and I think about, uh, you know, Monophonics and some of these really great bands that we're fortunate to get come through here. Yeah. And, and I love when we see an example like Sammy of somebody who really is now is kind of in both camps and, and is, is yeah. going to end up being a huge Grammy winning, yeah, he's, uh, he's, lauded he's songwriter. But sure. uh, in the meantime, we got him on Wednesday night we at, sure at Deer Valley and chuck a buck yep. and, and have a good old time. What, um, what, how do you envision, like, what is, what is goals for you in terms of, of the organization? And, and because I think in some ways, and, and maybe this is a, a, a demonstration of my lack of strategic thinking, but I go, you guys are killing it. Just keep doing what you're doing. But of course, you, yeah, that's you know, we, not the way you We want to have a greater impact um, educational wise and not only with elementary school children or middle school children high school children but but performing musicians right so um, who may want to have learn like a you know go to a songwriting workshop and so we have this vision we, you know, we're we're searching for dirt right now um, we want to uh, build possibly an amphitheater that we can call our own we got what we call mountain town music 2030 and so we have this vision that you know we can create an amphitheater that we can present summer camps at, that we can utilize all summer really long cool. to sort of um, not only showcase live music, right, but give people an opportunity, again, whether they're kids, to play, to learn, to grow, to, to nurture them, right? Yeah. And to do summer camps for kids. Like we worked with the Granger School of Music to do um, bucket camps, and uh, that was really cool. But I, I, I have a bigger vision of having a, a greater impact on the musical community as a whole. 
you know, and I think that we need our own venue. Um, so we're we're searching so cool. um, kind of outside of the, out, out in the county near Home Depot. There's a couple opportunities where um, they're building projects right now that might involve an amphitheater, and we are um, heavily kind of invested in exploring that opportunity. So I think you'll see the messaging come out probably sometime next year okay. about about this, and that's kind of going to be our, our, our next step as an organization. The evolution of Mountain Town Music will become sort of a greater musical resource for this community, not just in you know presenting you with live music, right, right, but where you know you can say, wow, you know, if it wasn't for Mountain Town Music, I wouldn't be having these shred sessions on the Silly Market stage, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, um, for sure. It's and, really cool. Uh, I want, I want, you know, I want our legacy to be that we made a difference, like a really big difference in the musical um, spirit yes. of Park City. It's funny. I was I was thinking in my mind as you were describing this this goal. Uh, Robbie Johnson, our director, in my ear said the same thing I was thinking, which is Woodward. Yeah, it's like the the Woodward of music. What a great yeah, kind of. It's funny that you say Woodward because you know we've been. Um, talking a lot about tapping into the younger generation. You yes. know, kind of our organizations, there's a lot of families and there's a lot of uh, older folks that are out there sort of enjoying our concerts. And what we're missing no right now is sort of that 16 to 25 demographic, you know, that maybe are listening to DJs, punk music. Right. and absolutely. So we want, we're also going to explore opportunities that do a concert series at the skate park, a concert series at Woodward, where it. we can so engage great kids, the next generation of Mountain Town Music supporters, they might not be able to like throw 50 bucks and become a Vibe Tribe member right. right now, but we need to start to engage them. You know, I love all music. I listen to metal. We talked about the yeah, fact yeah, that my yeah. record store was named after a Metallica song. Right. You know, I listen so to great. country. I listen to funk, you know, and so we have to be able to present all forms of music and not just say, hey, just we can't relevant. present a punk band because they don't fit on Deer Valley or they don't fit right. at, at the, the silly market, right. but maybe they fit at the skate park. And so Absolutely that's kind of part do. of our vision is, is again, to t try to sort of you know, make a greater impact on the younger generation of musicians here in Park City and, and the kids that that uh, that right now go, I don't want to go to Mountain Town Music. They're going to have that boring Sammy Brew up there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that <laughs> right? folk music. That folk guy, right? And right. so we, but you have to go to them, man. You can't expect them to come to you. Absolutely. And so it's Perfect. great that you say Woodward because you know I think there's going to be opportunities and some synergy to go out there and say, hey, listen, we want to be part of what you're doing out here, and we want to be the people that provide music for sure. your comps sure. or your you know your indoor events it. or anything. You know, and, and you know, people always say, oh, they don't do DJs. Well, I, I don't mind putting a DJ on the stage. Like, you sure. Know, yeah, but like I you say, in the right context, they're creative and artistic, just the same no as any other it. musician. You know, so you know, it's not that we don't program it, it's that we haven't necessarily had the opportunity or, yeah. or found that niche yet, but we and are going to We've had the same conversation here at the it. TV station, like yeah. how do we, like, if we don't know right now how to present that music in, in the right way for the, the context of a live television in studio program, then we got to figure that out because yeah. this is what's happening. You know, Bonanza Camp Out is gigantic. Is a yeah, great that's example. another great um, yeah. example of someone that we want to partner with yeah. and get more involved. We don't necessarily have to do these things on our own to engage the, the kids and the youth. We can partner with someone who does it great and is already attracting that age group, right? right? And we just can become involved. And I don't know what that looks like, but you know, we have a strong enough brand that we can go down there and, and re energize it. And and, and you know, Absolutely create excitement you for Mountain Town music, not just for the families and that are bringing their kids and they can go on and hang with their neighbors, but from you know the, the six, the seven year olds, the eight year olds, the nine year olds, the high school students, everybody. Like this grand Park City musical excitement extravaganza. I love it. I love it. The energy is good. Yeah. And like you say, your brand is great. Who better to do it? It's exciting stuff. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I got a chance to, to ask that question and, yeah. and, and hear your answer for the future. I love you, yeah, brother. Buddy. I love you. It's man. always great to see thanks you, man. For yeah. Thanks for all you do for our community. Yeah, You're a huge part of what makes Park City we all great. Are. And, I appreciate uh, it. MountainTownMusic.org. MountainTownMusic.org. Park City Live. Music.com. There it is. Brian Richards, Mountain Music. Thanks, sir. Appreciate Thank you, you, man. Sir. Good to see you. All right, Love you guys, it. we're going to take a quick break. We got lots more music. We're going to take a look at the weather, see if we're ever going to get any precipitation again, and much <laughs> more after this. Stay tuned. We'll be back.